We make compost here uh, using the lube key method that I learned back in the 90s. And this is an aerobic wind row composting system. When it comes to what to use as ingredients in a compost, there's no magic formula. And so you have to work with what's available. So what works for us right now is for our high nitrogen ingredient, we're buying manure. And then our carbon source, we have a couple different carbon sources. One of them is uh, round bales of hay, and we also use leaves. Those are our three main ingredients. In addition to those three, we're using a little bit of soil, clay being the important part of the soil, and I'll use a little bit of old compost, finished compost, as an ingredient as well. The word compost should imply that oxygen is the most important ingredient. And so oxygen will become the limiting factor to our success over and over again the microbes will breathe up the oxygen quite rapidly when your pile is actively decomposing. And so that's where the role of the windrow turner comes in. The turning machine is not primarily about mixing ingredients. It's about lifting all the ingredients up and allowing oxygen back into the pile, therefore feeding those microbes and allowing them to do their job for a little longer. So in this system, we'll end up turning this pile up to 50 times in its process, in about an eight to 10 week period. Um, this cover here is a really important part of the system that I use for composting. This is a product called TopTex, and it's sort of like a Gore-Tex jacket. So what it's doing is it allows gases to change places but it doesn't let the water in. So this is important for me to be in control of when the compost gets wet. Uh, if you do things right, if the process of making the compost went well, your temperatures stayed where you want them to be, you turned it regularly, you kept the covers on when you needed to, it never got too wet, it never went anaerobic, you're gonna end up with a high quality product. You want to have a product that's really nice dark color, nice and loose, and by and large, you won't see any of the actual ingredients intact. But that's what we're looking for.